Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, so we are going to look at something different today. We are going to look at Vitruvian Hex. Hex stands for a Highly Articulated Character Kit System. This is done by uh, Boss Fight Studios. Uh, fantastic figures. I've, I have a whole bunch in my collection, but I just picked these up recently. So I figured, let's take a look at them and show them off for those who do not have them. Okay, so we're looking at right now is the uh, Warrior Skeleton. Army of the Dead. Yeah, so, this is a collector friendly package, which means there's no tape on it, easily opened, easily closed. On the back, you can see a nice little bio here. I'll bring it in for you guys. You wanna... There you go. If you want to pause it, you can pause it now and read at your leisure. And here you go. You can see that this is part of Wave 7. So, yeah, there's uh, prior waves. All right. So this is what I mean by collector friendly, comes right out, no tape, don't have to worry about messing up the board, you can easily put your uh, figure back in and out, now these retail for about $25, not about, they retail for $25 period, end of story, um, they do sell them on their site, so we're starting with the skeleton which is kind of a unique thing, so we'll take a look at it. Um, beautiful paint, beautiful sculpts. Alright, so. Oh, there was his leg, his foot. Alright, so. Is it broken? Did it break it on its opening? Nah, he's fine. He's okay. Alright, so you can stand him on his own like that. Alright, so let's get him in close for some. Some nice close up so you guys can see what you're getting. Beautiful articulation. There's the jaw opens up. So you got neck articulation, you got at the shoulder, elbow, wrist, uh, spine, I guess. <laughs> he is a skeleton. Uh, waist, hip knee, and this one keeps falling off, ankle. Um, they are designed to uh, pop in and out. It is a system, as they call it. They can swap pieces out. So let's look at the armor as well as we kill this guy, see. Focus. There we go. Beautiful sculpt. Beautiful design. The gold just pops on this character. Um, the issue is that these guys, you think that they're like, oh, so you're, you're not, they're just uh, action figures. They're more of a highly articulated uh, figure, more than an action figure. And the reason I make that differentiation is uh, G.I. Joe would be considered an action figure. Um... Oh, double jointed knees, by the way. I just noticed that there's a there's two joints here. Uh, G.I. Joe would be considered a action figure. Um, these guys are meant to be displayed, posed, and displayed. All right, so let's look at the accessories. All this stuff comes off. You just got to pop it out in the right places. Um, you can literally take him down in pieces. You can take him apart at all the joints. All right, so let's take a look at some of his accessories. Here is his shield. So this is a troop builder figure because you saw Army of the Dead, so there you go. Uh, he comes with a spear, which is sealed in. Nope, not sealed. Remember, collector friendly, so you can pull everything out and then put it back in. Beautiful gold on this guy. And obviously they can hold all their all their weapons and accessories. So as I go, we'll put it on them. Yeah, look at that. That's a creepy guy. Alright. Uh, he also comes with a sword and a helmet. So, this guy is striking. Yeah, like... You can either see him as an army of dead or just a downed soldier that was, you know, killed by something that you found in a cave. So... Absolutely beautiful. Um, 
Oh, the sword does go in the back here. So you put the sword right here. I thought that it wouldn't have a spot for it. Slide the sword in there. Like, I don't know if you guys can see all this beautiful detail. Just in the, ah, so you got that blood on there. You can see all the beautiful detail in this toy. Which you really shouldn't call it a toy. I don't even know what you would call it. So I know what you're probably thinking. You're like, okay, well, how do they compare to, say, a G.I. Joe figure? Um, I have a bunch with me, but here is, say, Tunnel Rat. Which, the skeleton worked for this size, because, remember, you know, it's a skeleton, he doesn't have his meat, he doesn't have his bones, so he's going to be a little bit diminutive in stature. So, but, like, with a, with a G.I. Joe figure, you can move it all around, and the joints are made so that you can do that, and he's not going to fall apart on you. Um, this guy is designed to be able to be taken apart. So you can mix and match your characters, swap it with other pieces, um, make a battle scene where somebody cuts this guy's head off and have it rolling around. These are designed for people who want to do customs, who want to do those nice huge battle scenes, but they give them that nice beautiful sculpt. The, the people at Boss Fight Studios know how to sculpt. All right, so, uh, oh, one last thing I will show you with the Skeleton Warrior. All right, so with the Skeleton Warrior, he comes with this uh, stand and has pegs, and you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, with pegs, you need peg holes, and how do you put peg holes into a skeleton's feet? Because really, you just, you just can't. Let me see if I can get you to focus on that. I almost had it. There you go. See? No peg holes. So you're wondering to yourself, okay, so you got a skeleton, you got a stand. There's no way to peg him into the stand. Well, they thought of that. They came up with an ingenious thing. If I can get it open. Sorry, you guys just stare at that thing for a second while I get this open. Alright, so... A little bit of tape. He's pretty, isn't he? There we go. Okay, so... i give you all this fun little stuff here. Zoom in on the Alright, so what this stuff is... Is accessories to pin the character to a, a board. So what you can do is you can do this. Okay, so that pin goes into the the stand, and then you just slide the foot through there. So in case you're trying to do something where you're having more of an, a like a running, something that's going to be a little bit more, you need that balance, that extra balance, you get it with that, that piece. You don't have to worry about them falling over if somebody smacks the table or wherever they are displayed. So I think that was a very ingenious way to um, help with that situation. Now I'm not, honestly, I'm not really too sure what these little... These little clips too. I probably have to check that out, but I know what the feet one does. You have these extra clips. Now the only thing I can think of is that these are designed for the more, you know, muscular. I guess the more humanoid characters. So this might be just to fill out their arms. It's made of like a rubber material, so they can flex out. So you can put it around his wrist. they don't want to change the weapons to uh, accommodate just the skeleton. They want you to be able to use the armor for whomever you want. But if you notice how how wide this is, it'll just fall apart on the uh, on the skeleton itself. So you open that up like that, and then grip it around there like that, 
and it stays on there a little bit more. It should stay on there a little bit stronger than it normally does. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm sure with a little bit of fiddling and, you know, get the hand on the handle, you get that. There you go. So this was the first figure that we've looked at on my channel with the uh, boss fight. Uh, let me know what you guys think if you pick these guys up. Um, I have a whole bunch of these guys. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Um, so I got like four other of these guys. I'll take a look at another one or a couple more. If I get a whole lot of uh, views, I will do more. So I think they're really cool. I love these guys. I love the Greek. They're they're based on Greek mythology. Um, I have an Achilles figure that I can take a look at for you guys. This okay. See, so I was gonna end this video, but you can see here, this is a minor issue that this peg isn't that great. That it popped off. Um, they're supposed to be a little bit tighter than that. So I'm thinking that they might shave that down just a little bit. Probably a little bit of nail polish would tighten that up just enough. But it's not really a truly an issue. Once you get this thing set where it's supposed to be, you're good to go. But it's a little bit loose. But I honestly think that just comes with the, you know, it's a lot loose. Um, it just comes with the territory of these type of figures. That pig is going to be ridiculously thin. You know, they're doing it for a skeleton. Um, but it doesn't, see, it's not coming off if you just shake it. It's, I think it's more just a little bit loose when you start, you know, messing with it. Um, to be expected. So, I don't call it as a determent or a, a negative. I just think it's just something to be mindful of with this type of situation. You want it to look like a skeleton. You don't want it to have, like, thick uh, proportions as I put them back in, the, in this package. Um, you don't want them to have thick proportions because he is a skeleton, so he's supposed to be bony. Uh, no pun intended. So, oh, there's, there's some more, uh, more of these clear pieces. So I'll give you a whole bunch of them. Uh, yeah, I think he's great. I think... I, I, 25 bucks, I know you're probably thinking that's pretty expensive. That's the price of a, that's a little bit more expensive than a Marvel Legend. And it's for a three and three quarter uh, figure. But the sheer paint, the sheer attention to detail, um, the versatility, I think you're, you're paying for what you get. Considering that you can buy, say for example, a Star Wars Black Series. Um... Walmart exclusive figure for twelve fifty, and that gives you just the, the figure itself, and that's just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, there was your uh, warrior skeleton from Boss Fight Studios. I'll just close this up, and let me know if you guys pick any of these up. If you have them already, uh, what you do with them, how you set them up. Uh, comment if you feel like in the mood for chatting. All right, you know, what? there we go. See, and one more tab on the side here. I like to go through and just get this thing back into its package just so you guys can see that it's not impossible to make these look like you just got them, which I think is a big selling point nowadays because you want to be able to open it up. You're like, that was cool, but I want to hang this, I want to display it in its package. So you got still your toys that you got to play with, you just put them back in its package and you're good to go. Alright, thanks for watching. See you later.